Listen, it's not just hotels that are cashing in on this. Airbnb hosts also ask you, where's the money with all the spectators coming here to the Queen City? This weekend, beds are getting made and guests are checking in. The President's Cup expected to welcome 200,000 visitors to the Queen City. With the return of these big events, there's high demand for destinations like Charlotte. And Airbnb hosts are cashing in at that opportunity. So we've been booked for the President's Cup uh, weeks in advance, maybe even three months in advance which is unusual. Data from the vacation rental company shows a 60% surge in searches for Charlotte properties during President's Cup weekend. Terry Trifoletti owns five Airbnbs in the Charlotte area, working full time to manage a unique experience for her guests. People today want more personality when they travel. They want more privacy, more space, especially families who travel with children or couples who are all traveling together. And hosting guests is a big business here in the Queen City. In the first half of this year, Charlotte Airbnb hosts brought in over $28 million. When the President's Cup was last hosted in the U.S., um, hosts in Jersey City, New Jersey, collectively earned nearly $300,000, with a typical host earning just over $500. Folks making their way to Charlotte from all around the world, North Carolina, Ohio, and even Santiago, Chile, marking some of the top places where people are traveling from to rent Airbnbs. Now, Tripoletti said that her property here in South Australia is going for about four, five hundred dollars a night. But listen to this. We spoke to one woman early this morning and she was had a friend who was renting out her house here in South Australia, not too far from the golf club, going for twenty thousand dollars this week alone on Airbnb. Amazing the money some people are making.